Go everybody. Um, it's a pretty wet one today. Not a great deal happening. Um, we had quite a bit of rain this week, and it's just yeah another windy, miserable sort of day. So we're just doing. Well, Dad's gonna go feed some sheep, I think, currently. But I'm just up here in the wool shed with the um, old wool press. So you guys will probably remember we had that bent hydraulic rod uh, ram on it. So we've got that straightened out. Here it is here. No big bow to it now. It's about as straight as what it's gonna get. Um, and it's also been cleaned up a little bit too. I think some of the birds have been taken out. It's been, I think it's been had a bit of emery paper. It's still a bit rough and it's probably not gonna be amazing. So we're gonna hopefully try and get it back together today. Um, we're gonna rebuild that other ram as well. I've got all the seals and everything. Got a heap of new seals for it. So we should be able to rebuild it all and test it out. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try and hone out the cylinder as well. Um, so I'm gonna have to set up the hone and like, I don't know, make a really long extension for it, I guess. So it'll fit the end all the way through the cylinder. And we'll just try and clean it up a little bit. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be um, a little bit better and should help those seals last a little bit longer and help them not get torn up so much. Um, hopefully it makes the press work a bit better it should do because it won't be bent it won't get jammed up in the top of that cylinder there um hopefully it, like yeah we'll make it just a slight bit better um as long as it goes up and down smoothly is all we really want so i'll go get some tools and get set up and um we'll get into it right yeah uh, just over at the workshop here you've got this um sleeve that goes into the end of the cylinder and the ram runs up through the center here there's a couple of o-rings that go in there so when we're pulling it out because the um uh, ram was bent this got stuck in the top of the cylinder, so I had to sort of whack it with a screwdriver. So as you can see, it's a little, got a few burrs and whatnot on there. Uh, nothing that's going to cause any dramas. I'll just have to tidy it all up with a file, um, just so it seats down properly. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to whack it in the vise and give it a quick file, tidy it all up. Yeah, I cleaned it up, it's not amazing, it's still a bit rough, but uh, that part doesn't actually seal anything, it just sort of sits on the top of the cylinder, um, so it just has to sit flush, so it should sit pretty flush, it just doesn't look real pretty, but that's sort of what we're working with. And considering the wool press doesn't look that pretty either, I think it should be right for what we're doing. Decided not to hone it, I couldn't find a bar long enough that would fit easily down in there, so I just gave it a real good clean out with some brake clean and a rag. Um, and it should be fine for what we're doing. I was more worried about just the dirt and stuff in the bottom from it sitting upright in the shed for a few months. So it should be okay for what we're doing. Main problem was just that bent ram. So we'll go over and we'll start reassembling this rod and we'll get it sort of half set up in the cylinder and I'll have to wait for Dad to come back to give me a hand to get the monkey all set up on top. Right, so I'm back in the wool shed. Sorry about the light. Uh, it's not very good near. The half the lights aren't working and I've got to have the door shut because I've got young crackers with me who's trying to get out so we can't have him running around because um the greyhound might go in pain in the ass um yeah so sorry about the lot anyway um yeah got all the parts laid out here so new seal kits now the old one main seal that went in this um cap was this like it's almost like um canvas the seal and it has this like steel insert that goes in there and that all sort of was one thing so but the new ones this is a rubber one it should seal better and um last a bit longer <clears throat> so hopefully it'll sort of fits in how it should i uh, got all these new the big um seal here that goes on the end of the rod and some o-rings as well for in here so what i'll do is i'll start rebuilding all this um, and we'll give, put a bit of oil on it and we'll slip it back into the cylinder, which is just over there. And hopefully it all goes together all right. Um, and then once we've got it all back together, we'll do the same thing to that one. That one should be a bit easier, hopefully. Um, we'll pull it out and we'll just replace all the seals, O-rings, and um, <clears throat> we'll just give the uh, ram just a little bit of a clean and then that should be okay, I think. So we'll rebuild this ceiling end. So I have this o-ring in the middle and this big seal here to slip sort of over it all. And then the other end slipped on like that.
Jones. So this is the end where the uh, pressure, hydraulic pressure is all like around this seal and um, these ends. So that's sort of what moves it up and down is oil gets forced on this side, oil gets forced on this side. So that's what actually seals it. So hopefully this seal um, will be good and be a nice tight fit. Then yeah, it's got a castle nut on the end. We'll just run on. Alright, so that end should be uh, pretty right to rock and roll, I think. So now we'll rebuild this as well. So that's just a matter of putting a few O-rings and whatnot on. A little bit of oil. Yeah, I've also got to put this spacer on, it sort of sits on there like that. Um, I think it's to stop the ram going too high up into the uh, top of the cylinder and uh, yeah, cause damage, I guess, or it's just the limit at which they wanted it to work. Um, yeah, so we'll slip this back on. I don't, yeah, it's just a piece of pipe, basically, that slips around the uh, ram. And that pretty much just sits like that. Now yeah, we'll try and get this in as well. I've got to work out which way it went. I'm pretty sure it sits like that in there. Um, so oil doesn't pass out through the top. I'm not exactly sure how well it's going to sit because I've also got to get a circlip in into there as well. Um, I think this is going to be a little bit bigger, but we'll just work it out. Now, 
Yeah, that's in there. The old adjustable seal installer did a pretty good job. So as you can see, it's just seated in there. And then I'll have to go get a pair of circlip pliers, but that circlip will just sit in there like that and it should hold that seal in there. Um, this is obviously isn't how the, it was designed um, with that other seal, but it should still work the same, I think. Um, I'll have to go find a pair of circuit pliers, but I think Dad's in the ute and he's got the circuit pliers, so I might not be able to put it back together. But, um, find some circuit pliers and I'll come back to you. Alright, Dad's come back, so I've got some circuit pliers now. So I should be right to get this circuit in. There we go. So that's all ready to um, screw back on when I get this ram back in. All right, now that that ram's all back together, um, we'll slide it into the cylinder and get it sort of half set up. Dad's just over at the workshop cleaning up the nut that goes on the top of the monkey and the ram. So we'll um, get that in there, try and get that um, brass sleeve back into the top as well, see how we go. Might need to tap it down with a hammer because it's pretty tight because of the new O-rings. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we go. So we've got this end cap in, so now we've got to put this one on. Alrighty, I got the ram all back together, done this end, cap up nice and tight. So now I'm just gonna plumb it all back on, uh, do it with the brackets, whatever, put the pipes in between where they need to go. And dad's making a spacer, um, cause that side is missing this little spacer here, which just um, stops it from going down too far. So dad's just over at the workshop cutting up a bit of pipe that we can, I don't know, we'll weld it or just sit it there or something or not. Um, yeah, so I'll, Plumb all this back on, and then we'll try and yeah um, secure that back up to the top of the monkey. We might even do that side first, maybe um, get that one all changed over, and then just yeah put them both back onto the monkey because um, it'll try and sort of go up cockeye. I think if we do one at a time. So I'll be back at you in just a minute. All right, this side's all plumbed back on, pipes are on. That's all good. Dad's still um, working out how he's gonna do the spacing on that. So while he's mucking around doing that, we'll pull this second side apart and we'll start rebuilding that. Uh, hopefully that sort of just comes out a bit easier than the first one did. <laughs> There's a bit of mucking around. But um, yeah, we'll quickly pull this apart and rebuild it, put it back on and we'll try and set it all up and test it.
saw. I've taken, oh, the ram's disconnected from the rest of the press. Um, it was a lot easier than um, that other one was to get apart. This rod just taps straight out of the monkey. So, and also because it's not bent, that cap come undone pretty easy too. So I've put a big bar on those pair of Stilsons. And this um, uh, bushing, slide, cap, whatever you want to call them, I'm not sure exactly what the name is, is coming out as well. It should come out a lot easier because that rod isn't bent in there and like sort of jamming itself up. So that should pull out pretty nicely, I think. So I'll get a tub to stick under there to catch all the oil and whatnot. We'll yank her out. Oh. <laughs> Lucky I didn't have my face over that, or I would have like off it. <laughs> That's hit the roof. <laughs> I don't know if that one was on camera, but it come sprayed all out of there. It's gone up that beam there and it's onto the tin. And then it's put oil. Oh, a bit on the press and a bit on the floor, but that's all right. Everything's sort of covered in crap at the moment. It's like a bloody fountain. So this one's in a lot better condition because um, it didn't have a bent rod in there. It's not as worn on the bottom either, which is interesting. Um, oh, yeah, O-rings are still pretty knackered though. So this will be uh, getting an overhaul as well. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing as what we've done with the other ram. We'll disassemble all this stuff though. And then put all the new seals and everything in. That's interesting, this one doesn't have that metal insert in this seal. Well, I might be missing maybe. <laughs> maybe someone's out of the part and yeah, it's missing now. That doesn't matter, we're not, we don't need it, so... <clears throat> it's just it's rubbish. Alright, that one's all been resealed, new O-rings. Uh, I don't have to clean this one up, this one's in pretty good nick because I didn't have to belt it out with a screwdriver or anything, so that's ready to go. You can see how old and brutal this was, the old main seal just bloody snapped in two. So, obviously original seals from probably back in the 60s or whenever they go out, this 60s or 70s or something. Those two are ready to go, so now we'll just pull this um, main seal up here apart. Alright, so I'll show you the comparison. Here's the old one and the new one. So this is the new one, obviously. Old one. Um, don't know how well you can see it. You can sort of see... 
Um, this one's a bit more curved than that one. We're not lined up perfectly. This one's a lot more flat. So this curve is where it actually seals. So on that sort of white part. And you can see how this one's a bit more worn out from the years of use. So um, hopefully this new seal will help it and, perf and, uh, and improve its performance. So that's sort of what we thought was going to be the issue was that these seals were knackered. So with this new one, it should be a lot better. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Already know. <clears throat> that one's rebuilt as well, so it's pretty right. It's got a few nicks and stuff in this rod. I think it's a little worse than the other one, but there's not much we can do. Like, there's just a couple of little gouges in it. We can't really get rid of them. Or so it sort of just has to go as it is. Um, it should be better than what it was, so. Yeah, we'll give it a wipe up and put that spacer back on down here and um, we'll chuck it back into the cylinder. Alright, so we're sliding this ram back in now. So this ram's all back together now. I'll be able to fold that back up and hook all my um, hoses and pipes back up to it. And then hopefully by the time I'm done that, done that, that'll be back with the spaces for the monkey. And we might try and weld that on or test it first. I have to put oil in it too. So we'll smash that out and then come back to you. All right, so it's all back together. Um, Dad's put a little bit of oil in the tank and we've just got to lift the rams up now so it'll go into the monkey and um, we'll try and connect it all up um, yeah so we'll see what happens all right we're going to start it up and we'll see what it does
Alrighty guys, so as you saw, we just had it going. Um, we had to put a bit of extra oil in it. Just ran it up and down a few times, which hopefully got most of the air out. Um, I know I did notice I pulled the top off. I've got it like, it's like literally at the top of where the oil gets poured in. So it's about to overflow, but that's with the rams all the way down. Um, yeah, and I just noticed there's a bit of aeration in that oil. So once the air sort of bubbles out, it'll probably lower it down. The oil will probably come down a little bit more and that'll probably work even a little bit more smoother. So just putting it up and down, we did notice there is still um, a point where it grabs on this left hand ram. Um, and the guy who did, uh, who bent it back all into shape for us, um, he did say, oh, it's not gonna be like, you know, perfect. Um, there's still a bit of a kink in it, um, which is fine. But just in that, we still have to give it a little bit of a shake, just a slight one. Not like before we had to shake the absolute bejesus out of it. Um, yeah, it goes up pretty good comes down really well. It can go down all the way to the bottom now, which we couldn't do before because of how badly bowed it was. It was getting caught in that like um, brass um, plate that sits in there with the O-rings. So we couldn't actually put a bale, squash a wool right down to the bottom or to the second set of um, pins that hold your wool down when you're pressing. So that'll be good. We'll be able to get a little bit more into bales, hopefully. Um, pretty keen to see what sort of bales we get. Hopefully they're really nice. Tight ones, even though we were still getting pretty good bales, but um, it, this will just make it a little bit easier for us um, when we're pressing. Well, for me, really, because I'll do the majority of the pressing, but for anybody who's using it. Um, so, yeah, I think all up the repair, oh, well, a bit of oil, I'm not sure how much the oil cost, but that just had some lying around. Um, but I think it was $130 roughly for the seals, which is pretty expensive for seals, but they're sort of an odd one, I guess. So about 130 bucks for seals and O-rings, um, probably, I don't know, how many hours have we spent on it? Maybe four hours work. Don't know if they've got charged anything for doing that ram. Um, it was a family friend of ours, so he may not have charged him anything to get that bent back into shape. And, I don't know, what, 30, 40 dollars in oil? So, yeah, from having the press working okay to having it work pretty good now, for a $500 press, I'd say, yeah, we've got ourselves a pretty good little press now. So it should be pretty good come shearing at the end of the year. And um, we should be able to get some nice bales of wool out of it, hopefully. So yeah, anyway, that's probably all, that's all that's happening today. It's almost the end of the day now. <laughs> it's getting pretty dark. Um, yeah, as I said, cold, wet, miserable. And uh, yeah, we're into winter, that's for sure. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and um, yeah, we'll catch us in the next one. All right.